my parents and teachers have been talking about this thing called COVID-19. What is it? Let's ask an expert. Hi kids, I'm David Lane. I'm a scientist who works in Singapore and I'm working for the government and we're all working very hard to try and control and understand this virus epidemic. Hello everybody. I am Nathan Chong and I'm nine years old. I want to ask, how was COVID-19 created? Well, COVID-19 is, is a virus and the world is full of lots and lots of different viruses, but not ones that cause as much trouble as this one. So this is a new one because it's only just appeared in people very recently. In fact, we first detected it in the end of last year, 2019. So that's why it's called COVID-19 because it was discovered in 2019. And we're now only in the beginning of 2020. However, because we have lots and lots of clever scientists around the world and lots of wonderful technologies that we can use, we know a lot about it already. And we know that it's what we call a virus with a genome of 29,811 base pairs. So that's the code inside the virus that causes all the trouble. Um, and it's a small virus, um, and we're just trying to understand how we can stop it, how we can understand it, so that we can stop this terrible uh, epidemic that's troubling everybody in the world. My name is Lily and I'm six years old. So we know the coronavirus started by bats, but my question is, what actually is the rest of the story? The um, virus has been studied a lot recently and we've compared it with lots of other viruses. So it's like a, what we call a family. We can understand the family. And uh, by looking at this code that I told you about, the 29,811 letters, we can ask essentially how similar are these letters to any other letters that we find in different viruses. And so that's what lots of people have been doing. And it's obviously very important to try and understand where this virus came from. So, so two things have been found out at the moment. So, there's a virus that was found in a bat in China that's very similar to this virus. So we think that must be part of its story, part of where it came from. But there's another bit of the virus that looks like uh, something that's been found in an animal called a pangolin. So um, that's an interesting discovery and we're trying to understand how did these two bits of virus uh, meet each other and come together. But we know this can happen in nature. One of the things that's important to understand is just how very rare this is. I mean, you think of all the millions of viruses in the world and all the millions of things that are going on, and then just this one has caused the trouble. So whatever it was could be a very rare event, something that's very unlikely, but has happened in this case. My name is Amaya, and I'm six years old, and I want to ask you a question. How did COVID-19 start, and which country did it that yeah, it's a really good question and, and everybody's very interested in that because we don't really know where it started. Um, what we do know is that the first cases were reported from a city in China called Wuhan. So we use a, a word for that, we call it the epicenter or the center of the infection. That was the place that the infection was spread from and it's been spread by people throughout the world now with 110 different countries having people can, uh, with infection with this virus in them. So it's a contagious virus. That means, contagious means spreads easily. So the virus can spread from one person to another. Uh, and that's uh, what's causing the problem, particularly because people can <laughs> spread it when they don't feel ill. So about 25%, about one in four people who get the virus don't seem to get ill at all, but they still make the virus. <laughs> and if they cough, uh, they can spread it to other people. So that's a big problem for this field. So what I've told you sounds pretty serious, and it is serious, but what we're seeing is great progress from scientists and also from everybody in society dealing with this problem. So we're seeing infection rates dropping throughout the world. We're beginning to see drugs and vaccines being developed and all sorts of uh, progress is happening that's going to help us conquer this, uh, this virus. So I think we can be very optimistic that mankind will solve this problem. And the other thing that's happening is that people are working very hard on new medicines that will help us to treat the disease. And that's very exciting. And we'll talk. You can ask us more about that and you'll find out more about it on Ask an Expert if you tune in to the next episode.